Hmm. It's the 1st of December, so what I can do is I can shave my beard. There you go, completely fresh and clean. No more mistakes. Buddy, how's it going? Oh man, surf is great. Can't wait to get out there. That was great. Really, really good fun. Just a quick sort of 45 minutes to an hour before work. Now I'm going to go and get stuck into the day. Hey, good afternoon. I'm just um, coming out. Uh, what I'm going to do is I've finished my work and I'm heading over to Lule so we can go and show you exactly what it's like living in Lule because I used to live in Lule and um, yeah, I'll take you around Lule and we can explore the town together. Well, Lule is a provincial city up on the top left. Just uh, It's about 20 minutes away from Faro. And it's very close to the A22, so it's great access all the way across the Algarve if you can get to Lule. Hi. Well, let's try and um, get going here and just do, let's do a little Google Earth overview of Lule, shall we? Okay. So you're familiar with the Algarve right now. Um, we're right in the middle. We start off in Faro because you fly into Faro. It's a great place. So you fly directly into Faro. There's the airport down there. And what you can do is you can drive straight up to Lule over here and it takes you about 20 minutes and probably a little bit less and it's a, and a little bit quick. So if we look at Lule here, this big, actually kind of like a broken circular route like the M25 around London. But it, obviously you can see the intent here. So you start over here and you go all the way around, around and then it breaks over here and then go around and then it breaks over here. So what, you, what you'll do is if you're driving in from Faro, you'll come in past Gonsinia here and these two roundabouts and then you'll zoom in to go straight into Lule. If you're coming in from Sabrage del Portel over here where I am in the last video, you come and drive along here and you get to this big roundabout and then you come driving down through here. And that's where I started my video from, so you can see this. So let's let's just do the basic um, things you need to know about living in Lule. And I think the most important thing for a lot of people is shops, where to go shopping. So if you're going to try and work out where you're going to be living based on the shops, but there's tons of shops all over, so it's not really a problem. So there's a, there's a big continent supermarket down over here in the southeast. There's a little shopping center, or a supermarket, not a shopping center, over here. There's Pingo Dos over here and another continent on the west. So there's three big um, supermarkets over here. And then right in the middle, there's a market, which you can go to just about every day and buy all the most amazing natural ingredients that you want to. So if you prefer the market, you go head into the center of Lule. Um, there's also another interesting little store called McDonald's over here next to the continent. So that's good for some people. Other people might not enjoy that. But now look, if you just want to do an overview, um, you can obviously see from this high level overview, you can see how Lule is kind of like a linear settlement, I think from west to east. Um, it's well located next to the highway, the A22, which is this big highway over here. So you just zip straight off it and you've got two exits going straight into Lule. So you can get in this way or you can come around here and go in that way. And it just makes it easier to get in and out of Lule. It's a very, very centralized city. Okay. So when you come in a little bit more, we're starting in here in this continent uh, supermarket. You see on the eastern side of Lule is a whole bunch of apartment blocks where I actually used to live in one of these apartment blocks and it was great, very convenient. You drive straight into Lule, you don't get into any traffic because there's hardly much traffic in Lule, but you don't really want to be driving through the center because the, cause it does get a little bit um, blocked up at rush hour. I mean, it's nothing like gridlock in New York or Lisbon or, or wherever, but still. Okay, so you start here in Continent, and you can head down, down the road towards the center of Lule. And you can see on your left-hand side, there's a big football field. There's a Lule Tano football league, um, and, and you can play a lot of football. You can follow football. And you can see lots of apartment blocks 
in here as you're getting in closer. And, and then the, as you're getting in closer to Lule, these apartment blocks will line the sides of the main street. And also there'll be lots of other little buildings which you'll be able to try and buy up if you want to live there. Cruising along in here. This is the main Avenida, which you can see me driving along right now. And it's a beautiful place. It is a beautiful place. The beautiful trees. And this is where they actually have the main carnival. They go up and down. This is one of the biggest carnivals in the whole of Portugal. Um, and this is also closed for many reasons. You have lots of events during normal times. Um, as I said, carnival. And they do Christmas shows and all kinds of stuff right down the middle here. So this is almost the focal point of Lule. This roundabout right here. Okay, and the most important buildings, um, actually, if you go back here, there's, there's the, um, a little bit here, this is the Cine Teatro, which is, which is a very important building. It's basically a Cine Theater in English, and you can see all kinds of cultural shows, all in Portuguese, but it's wonderful um, that you can get to see some dancing and some music shows, and all, you should really keep up with that. It's, it's cultural center of Lula. Um, and then as far as like from a tourism perspective, um, the market is great. You can go there and buy all your perfect um, natural foods. And then a little bit further along is the, the Camara Municipal building, which is built in the 1800s. It's quite an historic building. And this over here, this area all the way down here is the old town. Okay, it's also across here as well. But this is where the walls, walls of the castle were. And so now you can go down, for example, and there's some beautiful little bars inside here. And we're going down... Let me just show you here quickly. We're going down the main street. And this has been turned into a mall. You can see this difference in coloration down here. This is a lot of people sitting around having coffee. And it's, it's a beautiful area. And it heads down to this little square or, or circle around here, which this pink building is the head, uh, the headquarters of the Umbria Resort Development, um, which is a little bit further out to the northwest of Lule. And there's a big golf course going on there. And this over here, I'm just pan around here. This here is a chemist or a pharmacy or an aptiak, as we call it in Afrikaans. But um, that's always handy. There's quite a, there's about four of those in the, in Lule, so you can always find out one. And there's always one open. So if one's if it's like the middle of the night on Saturday night or something, you can always find a chemist open. Okay. So now you head down. A, if you just if I just want to pan around here, just so I can show you while we're on this square. This is the corner of the castle. You can see these major battlements of the castle over here um, and the, and then I can just pan out a little to show you the old town essentially the castle walls go all the way around here and over there beautiful little garden over there which you can walk through and see sunset and then carry on up here and there's still um, the remnants of the castle walls as you go around here and historian will be able to tell you a lot more about the castle walls and the Arab influences and the, and the beautiful history of the Lule because it is a rich history I mean, it's back since the 1200s. So we just go back to where we were in this little um, Largo, okay, or square where the Umbria Resort is. Now carrying on down, so you can drive down there, but you can't drive down this street. Now this street is a walking street, and it's filled with shops. It's the main shopping street of Lule, and it's a beautiful place to go and walk down there in winter and do a little bit of shopping or whenever you'd like. And in the summer, they have... Um, canvases overhead so you can protect yourself from the sun and you carry on down there's a nice major church over here and this opens out into another square and this is also a beautiful square with waterfalls and not waterfalls but uh, fountains and things where um, they turn that every year into Christmas they have a little bit of an ice rink in there it's really Lule, Christmas in Lule is really well done actually the lights are spectacular and it's a it's a, it's a lovely place to be and then you can just carry on uh, and go through the rest of the town for there. And you can head over to, as I mentioned, uh, you can go straight through there and then go around here. I'll just do that quickly. Oops. Just go around here. And then there's the um, the McDonald's. Where's the McDonald's? Uh, there's the McDonald's. I go there occasionally when my daughter pleads me to go there. And here's the other continent on the western side. And then just over here is Pingados. And there is Lidl. So all the supermarkets over there. And then there's tons of shops in and out of Lule. And you can just head straight back up here 
into the center of Lule, going up past the castle walls, and then going through. You can. This actually is one of the main routes going through Lule if you want to bypass all the traffic in the center. You just carry on going straight through and head up there, and you go out to Sabraj. All right, so there's a basic overview of Lule. I just wanted to try and show you a little bit about the medical scenario. So um, this on the north, right on the northeast of Lule, is the center of Saud. Now this is the government hospital, okay? And this is where you can go and get all your shots and your jabs and whatever. And then if you come down this main road here, you can go back into the center of Lule. And I want to show you where the private hospital is. Come down, 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 all the way to the center of Lule. And this is the center of Lule here. And you can turn left here, oh, sorry, left there. And you get into this little square over here. And this whole area over here is the private hospital. And um, that's where you can get great medical care. All your medical insurance providers will help you there. And uh, it's a bit difficult to park down there sometimes, but um, yeah, make a plan. That is one of the problems with Lule, actually. It's tough to park. So let me just rotate this map uh, to north uh, and directly overhead. So there's the center of Lule as I was talking about the main, main um, roundabout. And this over here is a big parking area, covered parking area, which is great. So you can park your car and then walk. And you can also park your car down here and walk. And parking and walking is great because then you get to see more of Lule and you can go through all these little windy streets and it, it's stunning. So. That's Lule. Okay, and a little bit as regards to the sporting facilities. So, as I mentioned earlier, there's a football field down here. And this is the main sporting complex over here where there's um, a beautiful park. Actually, Lule has got a couple of nice, really nice parks. Um, and you can see there's five tennis courts over here, swimming pool, outdoor swimming pool, a diving pool, and an indoor swimming pool, which is heated to over 30 degrees um, inside. And it gets quite toasty in there, especially in winter. Um, as far as another sporting uh, facility is just to the northeast here. This is called the Centro Sportivo, and this is where they do a lot of trampolining and indoor sports, gym, etc. There's a whole lot of interesting sports going on over there, so you can check that out. Um, there are a couple of gyms around Lule as well, inside Lule, so it's quite advanced. Um, it's nice. There's actually a gym right next to the hospital down here. It's called Move, M-O-O-V, um, so you can get your gym on there. But... Um, and, and a lot of people, what they do, just walk. You'll see a lot of people actually walking around Lule. And this area around here, this sort of triangle, almost triangle, um, a lot of people who live in this area, they do a circuit here just about every night. You'll see them walking. As you dri If you drive past here, you'll see them walking. Uh, another interesting thing is there is, no, um, there is no train station in Lule, but there is a bus station. And the bus station is up here in the north. And that's where you can connect your bus. But th there is a train station called Lule, Lule, and that's actually down here, quite far away from Lule. So it's a little bit of a misnomer. If you're going to go to Lule train station, you're not going to the center of Lule. You'll have to bus up or take an Uber or take a taxi. Okay, so that's it as far as Lule goes. Um, let's just take you through a little, a little walk through Lule, just so you can get a feel for the place. Welcome to Lule. It's the subject of the film, it's yeah. The subject that's it. of the film. Lule is gorgeous. Into but is it really though? I mean, are you just saying that because you no, love no, it? No, 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 it's gorgeous. But it is amazing, it's yeah. And you're right in the amazing. center of things here as well, so. Yeah, especially this old part is, is really is lovely. Yeah. Um, I've lived in Lisbon and a few other places and Lule, I always come home to Lule. It is home. I'd say from 40 up, yeah. it's fantastic. 
it really is fantastic. You've got the market, you've got the little bars, etc. where you're allowed to yeah, again. it's a bit difficult to do anything right now. Just got a Netflix and yeah, chill no matter where you are. Huh? But we've been really lucky. Mm -hmm. We've been really, really lucky here in LA. I just wanted to cruise through and show you what it's like here because it's absolutely stunning. You can get some amazing dishes. What food do you got here? So what food have you got here? Be varnished. But it's mainly like, no, but it's mainly <laughs> brunch, isn't it? It's awesome food. brunch. We've got yeah. all types of egg benedict, with muffins, we've got bagels. We do awesome Asian fusion food, so I can do some Thai curry, some ramen, got kimchi pancakes. Oh, kimchi? Kimchi, yeah, it's kimchi. fermented vegetables. Oh, nice. Beautiful. And you've got the best coffee as well, like there's amazing flat whites, right? Yes. We have, and we've got all the Starbucks rip-offs as well. So oh, we've got brilliant. All of them. <laughs> we've got so where was it made? A Monte Clerico, you say? Monte Clerico. It's a beautiful lady called Lexi, who's a tattoo artist. Okay. She lives in Lisbon now. Um, and I met her because I booked some tattoos. And then she decided to start an all-female surfboard company. All-female? how it's going. But I so think that she means that I can't. It's made in France. They okay. get some sent over, and she does all the artwork, whatever you want, within her style, which Beautiful. is normally a lot to do with, obviously, the sea. And um, so, as a man, yes, can I not buy that board? Yes, you can. She's not feminist. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> You'll remember this square from earlier, but as we continue a little bit slightly further up the road towards the Como, we come to Café Calcinha, and you can see Antonio Aleixo, who's a well-known poet, died in 1949, and he'll sit there every day having his coffee. Um, he's quite well-known all around the Algarve, and actually there are monuments to him all over Portugal, so he's a well-known figure. But imagine sitting down here having a hamburger. This is the Esplanada of the Hamburgeria Baixa in Lule and uh, just uh, oh, going over to the, the Camara Municipal and getting some work done at that office and then a little bit further up going to find your goods at the Lule um, market. It's just a beautiful provincial town. really is stunning. Do you agree? I'm just trolling through Lole so you don't have to. <laughs> but um, yeah, heading up to the shopping district.
So, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, oh, if you have any problems or questions, just drop them in the comments or jump over to my website at algarveaddicts.com and you can join up to my email list and we'll try and figure out whether you want to buy a house or if you want to just come for holiday or whatever and we'll try and have some information available specifically for you. So, something that I'm working on real hard because I want to help a lot of people and it's really hard to answer all the comments and all the emails. So, I'm trying to automate it a little bit so it'll help you um, and if you want to get hold of me we're planning on doing um, paid zoom calls so maybe maybe that'll be a thing in the future maybe it won't I'm not sure so uh, thanks again for watching really appreciate your time all right ciao